What is up, players? It is Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Welcome to my unboxing, assembly, and review video for a box set I just picked up. It's the Adeptus Astartes Space Marine Heroes. And what a fantastic kit if you are a Space Marine player or if you're thinking about getting into Space Marines. And especially with the new edition of Warhammer 40k coming out, it is a great way to get three very important characters into your army for a huge discount over buying them separately. You get your captain in the center, your librarian there on the right, and a chaplain on the left. And uh, the captain and the librarian, in fact, all of them have only one loadout. That's the only sad thing about this. They're all in plastic and they've all been sculpted and fit in such a way that uh, you're always going to get the same loadout. A force staff for the librarian, a combi grav gun and a power sword for the captain, and the crozius arcanum and bolt pistol for the chaplain. Unless you want to convert and uh, do some, or maybe just, you know, adding the different weapons that you prefer on your miniatures, these are going to be the ones that you build. They're going to look exactly as they are on the box. The only difference is that for the captain and the chaplain, you have some options with the head. You can either have the helmeted head or one without. The first one we're going to take a look at here is the librarian. The box comes with three of these instruction cards. And uh, that's really helpful because even if you're just looking at the numbers on the back, it's a little difficult to see how all the pieces go together. If you are a new modeler and hobbyist, if you're new to miniature war games and building everything together, the way that they've constructed the torsos and the arms and the legs, uh, it, everything kind of fits together perfectly in a certain way. So if you're not used to putting these together, you might not put it in the sequence that the pieces need to go in, which I think is a really great idea as a design aesthetic. It makes the model look how it should look and it really is uh, the best way to go if you don't mind your models always looking the same and uh, you don't care to do any uh, fancy converting or reposing. I'm kind of talking over the uh, showing off the sprue here but there is a lot of great detail. My favorite detail is this little cherub that the librarian has. It's so weird and it's like a little winged fat baby with a skull face and a sword and a shield. It's just so weird and I just love it. It's, it's totally 40k. All right, we've got our combi grav, power sword wielding space marine captain here. He's got this awesome helmet with the crest, and uh, I think that's very, very heroic looking. And uh, for, for a leader character, I usually like to go with the unmasked, unhelmeted face so that you can kind of, you know, add your extra level of detail and painting right there. But I think the crest of the helmet is just so good that uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to build this one with the crested helmet. And uh, like any character, you can see there's a lot of detailing on the armor. There's uh, that fancy, fancy cloak that we're going to be painting up. And uh, you've got that braid going across the front, the strips of the leather going down across the, uh, the torso. And yeah, it's just a really great model. I would say of the three though, the Space Marine Captain is my least favorite just because you can build a perfectly good captain with the rest of your uh, bits from your Space Marine kit. The, uh, oh, I forgot to show off the librarian face. Yeah, there's that old man uh, bearded librarian head. So good, so, so nicely sculpted. Um, but yeah, the librarian and the chaplain here are the ones you really can't build. You need these kits because they've got the crozius, they've got the uh, the bone on the shoulder pad, and I, you can of course make your own crozius using uh, imperial eagle bits and um, creating like a little staff there, but really if you want the official Games Workshop m miniatures for the ch plastic chaplain, the only way you could get it before was the chaplain came in a boxed set with I think a command squad and a rhino or something. So you have to pay a hundred dollars for a uh, US dollars for this model. And now I'm, I'm happy you can get it in this kit. And there are the two helmet options. I think the skull helmet is just too amazing. Again, we're going for the rule of cool over uh, the kind of half metal terminator face. I'm definitely going to be using that somewhere else in my uh, collection, but 
the skull helmet for the chaplain is just too iconic not to use. I like how he's got strips of uh, prayer, parchment paper, prayer slips just flowing in the wind. He doesn't need a fancy schmancy cloak or a cape. Rather, he's got uh, all of this great gothic ornamentation. That It's so weird hanging down his backpack there by that chain is like a box with a bone in it. I think it's so weird, but, um, you know, interesting. All right, so let's begin our building, and I'm just going to be talking about my thoughts of this kit as we go, and uh, you can kind of watch me work in the back if you want to, and uh, if not, if you've just got this playing, then uh, you can listen to the, the sound of my voice. So what I found with building this kit was that they're like any plastic set, you're going to have a lot of mold lines that you're going to be scraping off. I always scrape off mold lines, for those of you who aren't familiar with my work, I scrape off my mold lines with the back of my hobby knife. New hobbyists will sometimes use the blade because it'll really get it off faster. But you know, just some gentle scraping with the back of your hobby knife, make sure you don't gouge out any huge chunks of plastic. It's very, very important that your models don't look like they've um, gotten their armor you know, scraped off and scraped away like that. The Space Marine Librarian here is so fantastic. I love the pose. I love how he's got he's got his staff angled forward and uh, like he's shooting a bolt of lightning right out the front of it. And uh, like I said, that weird little cherub servitor thing is just uh, so so crazy looking. And um, the cherubs are the cherub servitors are like a staple of 40k. You've got these little robotic um, half machine half like uh, vat grown flesh looking creatures that sometimes they fly around like this little angel or a cherub looking one and sometimes they hobble after you with some uh, very thick hooded robes and just uh, the, the aesthetic of the servitors and how they serve the um, the space marines their masters or uh, you know their their leaders and their generals is uh, it's just so creepy and gothic and uh, ugh. I love that this little guy though is just flying around over this guy's shoulder. One thing the instructions do not describe, which is why you can see me having some difficulty here. They don't tell you how this little thing is supposed to fit in. Usually there's like a slot or, or an indentation, something that you can pop your uh, pieces into and really align them. But <laughs> I had the, the worst difficulty with this guy. Eventually I had to um, just kind of glue the bottom of his trailing prayer sh scroll onto the shoulder pad of the librarian. And um, if you have at least two points of contact, that means two points where the two pieces touch each other, then you can put some glue in there and uh, you can have a good result. So one of the reasons why I decided to actually spend money on this kit. Usually when Games Workshop comes out with something new, I don't really want to think about investing in it, but I really thought that these three special characters on their own, they cost around $30 uh, US. And when I saw this kit for sale for approximately $50 US, I'm gonna say approximately so I don't get any, uh, any warning letters or anything like that. I thought, what a great deal, you're essentially getting one of these figures for free and uh, I think there's never you can never have enough of these uh, special characters in your army if you're a space marine player if you're a 40k player but you don't really play space marines you don't have any interest in them or in collecting them or uh, if you've got the older models the metal models there's you, you don't really need these guys but just like the start collecting boxes that games workshop is just selling like hotcakes. The value in putting these three special characters, which most Space Marine players are going to want to have, into one one box set, I think is terrific. So uh, kudos to Games Workshop, and uh, what an exciting time to begin thinking about the new edition of the hobby. If uh, you are a longtime veteran of Warhammer 40,000, or if you are just a newcomer to the hobby itself and to this uh, you know, amazing and long-term grandfathered in game system, the um, big heavyweight on the field, then uh, there's never been a better time to think about going out there and getting some new models. And 
for those of you who are followers and longtime fans of my channel, I will be doing a painting challenge this year. I've been so slammed with my real life and uh, my commissioned painting studio. I haven't had time to even think about putting together a painting challenge in May and June, but I figured the first time I did this month-long painting challenge, it was July, a, a long time ago, a couple years ago, five, six, seven, oh geez. And so I decided, why not put it again in July? So if you are a fan of the July painting challenge, the May painting challenge, the 2016 painting challenge, if you've ever seen one of my crazy painting challenges before, with the new edition coming out, with newer models for every game system coming out, it's really the best time to pick up a paintbrush and get started. So think about clearing your schedules and or, or uh, finding some time to carve out some painting with me, more Boss Tay, and we can uh, really get that going. There's not really anything I can say about uh, the Chaplain. The Chaplain was a dream to put together. The Space Marine Captain was a dream to put together compared to that little cherub, ser uh, cherub <laughs> servitor. And uh, I, I just had such a great time putting these models together. So here we are at the end. We're just going to kind of take a look at uh, these models now. One final look through. There is our librarian. And uh, I love that pose. I love that steely gaze looking down the front. And there's that little cherub hanging over his shoulder. The glue is dried and uh, he is stuck on there. So I'm going to spray prime all of these miniatures and get to painting them. Hopefully we'll have something to show. Just something different and um, a little bit more of uh, a Space Marine focus as we're gearing up for the new edition. I like how they put the trim on the back of the Space Marine Captain's robe. I, I don't think I mentioned that earlier, but uh, that trim is nice because then you don't have to paint it separately. You can see it sculpted onto the model and you can paint it rather than having to freehand it, just like the back banner. I like how Games Workshop is doing these sculpted banners and uh, cloth patterns. It's really nice. And there's that chaplain. Oh boy, what a great looking figure. I love that model so much. It just looks so great. I, I really wish it came in its own pack. I'm not sure if it does, but uh, the fact that you could only get him before with a command squad and a rhino, I, I, I didn't really want to spend my money, my shekels on that, but yeah, I'll definitely buy him in, in, a, in a three pack. So hey, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, consider joining the Google group, posting up your pictures and, and whatever you're working on there. Get some feedback and uh, get geared up, get ready. July Painting Challenge 2017 is on.